together where I'm being Svetlana in the summer of 2021 we packed our dogs in the car and uh, made our way to Greece to start our new life as liverboards on a sailboat this is our journey I hope you enjoy it and please like and subscribe Okay, uh, second day back and starting to work. It's not actually my back that is stopping me from working, it's this. My wrist is bloody killing me. Anyway, um, so far today I have sanded back the fiberglass repair and put some gel coat on it. I've sanded back these scratches and put some gel coat on them and uh, then we're gonna just obviously let that cure and sand it back until it goes nice and flat and where I've filled the rudder here at the base I've also sanded that flat so this is now uh, basically ready for anti-foul and there's no longer a hole in the bottom of the rudder so that's all good. I've sorted out inside the bolts for the P-bracket so that uh, when Matt and his friend come they can fit that. There's the P-bracket. I've sorted out the stern gland, got that ready. Um, I've tried to take some of the bolts off to get the stern coupling, but um, I've got two of them out. The other two I just can't do with, with my wrist being where it is. So, uh, yeah, so um, I think we're back to basically polishing, or rather cutting, I should say, to get this discoloration off the side here. Now, they were talking about lemon juice with a scouring pad, but uh, I'm not sure whether I could do that, to be honest, with my wrist as it is. I'll give it a try. I don't think it's going to make much difference and I think that uh, the cutting compound actually does a better job. So we'll see. And then I've got to get these silver stripes off um, so we can put new stripes on. The power of YouTube. So my friend Sanders has come down to help and he's uh, finishing sanding the antifoul for me just to get the water line back make it easier to apply the new antifoul. So, another frustrating day, but uh, 
got the scratches out of this uh, side which is good the gel cut still hasn't set up yet so uh, I'm going to leave it another 24 hours and hopefully it'll set up but if it doesn't I'm going to have to scrape it off and do it again which should be good this uh, bootstrap needs to come off that's as far as I managed to scrape in just like two inches but I'm, I'm shattered loads of people around today though well wishes so uh, I've got someone who's uh, offered to do the uh, cutting and polishing on the side of the boat which is good and uh, yeah so hopefully it'll all come together I've got two weeks basically before she's got to go back in the water and uh, yeah there's still a shed line to do uh, including this which is what did me in before so I've got to sell that and then paint that with your coat so yeah oh good fun okay so I've uh, had to scrape all the gel coat off and redo it. I've done it with gel putty, which has gone off really quick, which is good. So uh, just going to sand that back. And then this side is ready for cutting. And uh, I'm going to do that next. So, um, yeah, the problem I've got is the sanding this boat and all of the dust from that is blowing this way so it's going to be uh, an interesting job but it's the next thing to do so get this uh, polished back uh, this bow's pretty much done again a little bit of uh, filling to do here just to finish that off and then my nemesis that broke my back I've got to finish that uh, and then we're uh, we're ready okay, so it's not pretty at all but once it's sanded flat it'll be a lot better than it was so that's that bit done and these bits are ready just to sand flat and then uh, I'm gonna have to cut this myself and polish it because uh, the guy that was recommended he wants oh, 690 euros to do it which is still cheap but is far more than we can afford um, Matt's been down, he's taken the P-bracket with a cutlass bearing because the bearing that came has, has been deformed and him and his mate are going to take that away, they've taken the old cutlass bearing as well get it machined, get it all ready to go on, they're going to do that sometime this week so I'm just packing up because my back's killing me so ok so putting this bow thruster back in uh, I managed to slot it into place, I've just got to get these bolts back in now. The is now reconnected, so we're just going to see if that works now. Uh, and then we can start putting the floor back down in here so that's good that's good when I was working on this I disconnected the battery for the bow thruster that's this here so that needs to go in here like that and if I've done everything correctly we should now have a bow thruster let's see oh. I 
I think the answer to that is no, we don't. So I've done something wrong. What have I done wrong? When the bow thruster was disconnected, it was these wires here. And as you can see, it's colour coded at this side, but they're all black wires on this side. So I'm not sure because this box is no longer needed, you see. So, and you can see that has got an earth and three black wires. And that's an earth and three black wires. And here's an earth and three black wires. So I reckon One of these is wrong. And I don't know which. And then it just peels like that. Look. You see? It peels almost all the way. Uh huh. I'm not ready. You feel me? Uh huh. So, well, yeah, you just need a bit of, yeah, just to get to into, can you see? Yes, can you can see. Do you want me to? I can see too. Do you want me to uh, get it from here? So you can do like, uh, like probably an inch uh -huh. each time. If you just do it, you know, like that. Uh -huh. See, it's coming off. See, since here, I've done yeah. already in about 10 minutes, it's just, it needs a little bit of, uh, you know, force. <laughs> so I just said, yeah, if I started from, uh, um, from, you know, after the lift out, it would have been done. But now, I doubt it's going to be. done we've got two weeks to have a truck <laughs> It's now three weeks since I fell and uh, broke my back and uh, yeah we're progressing we're starting to progress so uh, I can't do a lot before I've got to sit down or lie down but um, yeah every little bit helps so this side is now all cut back ready for polishing um, got a little bit of uh, anti foul just to clean up there. Uh, we've got the silver stripe off and we've got the Hunter sticker off and the 460 sign on this side and that's all cleaned up. This side started uh, cutting back and I've done above the blue line back to where the ladder is 
Uh, that's taken three days so far because I, I can't do much. It's very slow going. But I'm getting there. The silver line's off and the hunter stickers are off. Um, I just need a bit of cleaning up and this, it'll clean up when I, when I cut it. Uh, once I've finished cutting this side I'll start polishing and then we're ready for anti-foul. So uh, that's all going swimmingly. Um, Matt from Sailor Onion and his pal have uh, taken the uh, brackets away um, to sort of measure up and get the new bracket milled and in shape. It came with a cutlass bearing but whoever installed it at the factory was a bit overzealous and they've actually damaged it and they've bent it. So he's currently trying to straighten it um, and see if he can source an alternative. Um, so that's going to be cutting it a bit fine because we've now got um, just over a week before we're scheduled to go back in the water. Um, but yeah, he's uh, he's working on it. So uh, we'll see where we go. Um, once we've got the prop shaft back in, I've got a propeller anti-foul. I've got some primer and some anti-foul to put on the propeller. Um, and obviously we've got the anodes to put on and what have you and sort out the earth bonding issue that we had. Um, but yeah, progress. A little bit each day. So it's coming. It's coming on.